हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी स्टैट प्रो बेसिक टू एडवांस फुल कोर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज लेट्स स्टार्ट हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी स्टैट प्रो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज टुडे वीडियोस वी डिस्कस और लर्न हाउ टू परफॉर्म पी डेल्टा एनालिसिस ऑन स्टैट प्रो पी डेल्टा एनालिसिस आल्सो नोन एज सेकेंडरी ऑर्डर इफेक्ट सेकेंड ऑर्डर इफेक्ट बिकॉज after the deflection due to some lateral load one more def uh, one more moment is generate due to the axial force since their magnitude depend on the amount of initial displacement or deflection the p delta effect is destabilizing moment equal to the force of gravity multiplied by horizontal displacement you can see here first deflection is come due to this lateral load after this lateral load the axial force also got some horizontal distance then again a moment is generated due to this so one moment due to this five kips to this distance and one moment due to three kips at this distance this deflection so this is second order effect in p delta analysis mm, here you see the example a uh, column of height 12 feet have two one end is fixed and other end have two loads two points load one is la lateral load 5 kips and one is vertical load 3 kips the properties of the column is height is 12 feet young modulus is 29000 kip ksi section is w8 into 10 lateral load this and vertical load this if you calculate manually moment at the base so you can this is the base and this is the horizontal load you can first moment is calculate by this multiply by this means h multiply by l and second moment is due to axial force and this deflection p into delta you can calculate moment at base by this formula h is lateral load l is length of the column p is axial force if you want to calculate deflection at this end uh, you can use this equation h l cube 3 ei after manually calculation the deflection is come 5.57 inches and moment is come 736 0.715 kips per inch and now we can solve by prob this problem by stat pro and then compare the result let's start first of all we select the units feet and kips so we start uh, stat pro and uh, which can change uh, inside the unit inside the stat pro but uh, uh, I want to change uh, the whole unit of the software by the configuration and change metric to English. Accept and click here new project space. The title is P Delta. The unit is foot and kilo pound. Finish. now we create a joint and then close the grid by node cursor we select this joint and translate in y direction 12 feet because the height of the column is 12 feet link okay sorry translate in y 12 feet link okay now second step is we provide fix support at base then we go to the property and go to the section database and select w8 by 10 w shape add close and assign this property to the column after this we go to the definition load case detail add a load dead and the title is lateral lateral load add and another load is vertical load
क्लोज इन लेटरल लोड वी एड नोडल लोड इन डायरेक्शन एफ वाई फाइव किप्स एंड इन वर्टिकल लोड वी एड नोडल लोड एफ वाई डायरेक्शन माइनस फोर डाउनवर्ड एंड थ्री किप्स नाउ वी प्रोवाइड दिस लोड दिस नाउ वी एड अनादर लोड and the title of this lateral plus vertical load add and in this load we add this to both load by repeat load go to the repeat load and add this both to the left side and add close repeat load after this go to the analysis and print and p delta analysis click here small delta and print all add and close finish analysis this and compare the result first of all we check the moment we can check moment by many methods like double click go to the shear bending here moment is 720 kips and go to the post processing go and the activate the moment icon this is the moment and you can check moment from here beam results moment in z is 720 but in combination is 735 we select combination go to the result view value beam result maximum moment 737.332 kips per inch due to lateral load 720 due to live vertical load Is zero and but combination is this. You can see here when we use lateral is seven twenty and when we use vertical load moment is zero. It means the summation of these is only seven twenty is re remain. But when we choose this seven thirty means his second effect is consider. If you want to check deflection uh, here, you can see deflection is five point six two inches. you can go to the result view value beam result and maximum displacement 5.782 inches due to the combination now the manually result uh, is 5.57 in stat pro is 5.7 and th 736 and 715 is 99% is result is correct okay we can check uh, the Our result is some different. Our result is seven thirty-seven. Okay, moment is okay. So first of all, we def uh, on deflection five point seven eight two. Five point seven eight two inches. And deflection is five thirty-seven point three three two. Five thirty-seven point three three two. Okay, why this uh, result is differ? Okay, check. Okay, we forget this property. E is this. Okay, we copy this and go to the editor and we paste here for only check. It's uh, change into green. It's not the part of the programming. Okay, E is correct. Poison ratio is correct. Density is point four eight nine zero two four is correct. Alpha is six point five e. Six point five. Okay. Damping is zero point zero three is correct. Now we can check again. Analysis done. Go to the post processing. 5.782 is the deflection 5.782 and the moment is 737 okay these are the result of manually stat pro and these are the manually calculation and this tutorial is the p delta analysis if you like this video please share like and comment and if you want to more tutorial please comment
थैंक यू